so guys as you can see we have now created the custom page and inside this custom page we have used the out of box components as well as we have created the reusable custom component over here you can see we have used the cms paragraph component and then this is the simple banner component because of that we are able to render these three clickable images this is a reusable custom component which we are using in this page as well as we are using on the home page as you can see guys we have reused this same component at the home page also so in this video i have tried to clarify a lot of your doubts regarding the creation of the components and then how to reuse those components on different different pages hello friends welcome to the 103rd session of hybrid tutorial guys in this session we are primarily going to learn how we can create a custom cms page and then how we can add a custom component into the newly created custom cms page so in this video we are going to learn these topics the first one is how we can create a custom cms page and then how to add the out of box components into the custom cms page so we will be adding some out of box components like we will be adding cms paragraph component and simple banner component and guys then we will see how to create a reusable custom component reusable custom component means a component which can be reused into different different pages so in this video i will show you a demo that how we can reuse that custom created component on the custom cms page as well as on the home page so guys finally we will see how we can link this custom cms page with the home page so this is a full fleshed video in which i will be covering the detailed concepts of creating the cms components including the creation of the custom cms component and then how we can reuse the custom created cms components into the different different pages so i hope guys this video will be quite informative for you i have already created three videos on the wcms concept in which i have shown different different type of wcms customization but this video will give you a detailed picture of different different customizations in the wcms also guys i have uploaded the notes and the code files related to this topic on the google drive so you can also get the access to these notes and the code files related to this topic by clicking on the link which is given in the comment section of this video and you can also get the access to these notes and the code files related to this topic and guys lastly but most importantly i am able to open this b2c accelerator storefront because i have done the b2c accelerator setup in my local system in case you have not done this setup you can watch my video related to setup of b2c accelerator using the hype this version 2211 so if you want to download the software you can just click on the link which is given in the comment section of this video and you can also download the setup and then you can install the setup in your local system but since i have already installed that is why i am able to open this website so now let's see how we will achieve these results so we will be following 
these technical steps in order to achieve these results. So the first is we will be creating a custom component. So how we will be creating a custom component? To create the custom component, firstly, we will be declaring a custom CMS component in our item.xml and that custom CMS component will extend the simple CMS component. And in that custom CMS component, I will be declaring the custom attributes. Don't worry, I will show you the end-to-end -end steps in this video. And then guys, after that, we will be creating the custom controller and the corresponding GSP for this custom CMS component. I hope this is clear to you. Next is creation of the custom CMS page. When I am saying creation of the custom CMS page, this means we will be creating a new CMS page which will end with the extension hybrid tube available packages currently if you see if i try to load this page it is saying it doesn't it is not able to find any page right with this extension it is saying 404 page not found but once guys i will create this custom page you will see that i will be able to you know i will be able to render the page with this extension so how you will be creating this custom CMS page to create the custom CMS page. Firstly, I will be creating the custom page template and the CMS page of type content page. I will show you those steps as well in this video. Then I will be guys declaring the out of box paragraph component and banner component because as I have already explained that we need to add some paragraph component and some banner component as well in that custom page. That is why I will be declaring the paragraph component and banner component and I will be then you know mapping those paragraph component and banner component with the custom page right and then i will also create the custom controller and the corresponding gsp for rendering the custom page i hope guys this is clear to you finally guys what i will do once i will create the custom cms page and in that custom cms page i have mapped the out of box components and the custom component right then i will also map the custom component with the home page also i will show you how it will look like and what are the steps to you know map the reusable custom component with the home page and guys in the end we will link this custom cms page with our home page what are the steps to link the custom cms page with the home page we will discuss in this video so this is a full fleshed video in which I will try to cover the most usable concepts related to the WCMS. So let's start creating the custom component. For creating the custom component, the first step is we need to create the custom component structure in our training core item.xml file. So for that, I will go to the training core item.xml file and i will declare an item type over here so how my item type will look like so i will declare the item type something like this so this is the item type which i have declared over here so i have specified the item type code is equal to hybrid tube member only package component which is extending the simple cms component and guys inside that i have declared all these attribute the first one is hybrid tube title right which is of type string second one is summary right which is again of type string right third one is the banner image so the banner image which we need to display so this is of type media right and the final one is final one is hybrid tube available package link so basically this is a collection of cms link component okay so for that i have declared the uh, collection so you can see i have declared one collection over here so this is the collection right with the code value as hybrid tube available packages link list and it is of type cms link component i hope guys this is clear to you
once we have declared this item type the next step is guys we have to build our project right so that the corresponding model class gets generated if you see currently you can see the model class is not there but as soon as i build my project then the corresponding model class will get created why i need to declare this item type the reason is in this custom component i have used the simple cms component attributes in addition to that i am using other attributes like title summary and the collection of links so that i can declare different different packages of hybrid stew for example diamond package gold package right and i can basically add or append the images and right. if user clicks on those multiple links right user should be able to navigate to the different different urls that is why i have created a custom component which is basically a collection of attribute of type string and attribute of type media and the attribute of type hybrid tube available packages link list right and this link list is of type cms link component i hope guys this is clear to you now guys next step is we will build our project for that i will firstly bring my server down i am pressing the key control c you also have to do the same step then to clear my screen i am pressing cls and then press enter right now i will fire the command and all right if you have not fired this command set ant environment dot bet this is the first command you have to fire to set the ant environments right and then you have to build your project so you can see i am building my project and once the project build is completed then you will see that the corresponding model class will get created once the model class is generated after that we will start you know creating the custom controller and the custom gsp page and in that custom controller right i will be using this component model class so let's wait for the build to get completed so guys now you can see the build has been completed and if you see even in the item.xml file also you will find that now the corresponding you know model class has also been generated as you can see over here now you can see the model class has been created right now the next step is that we need to bring our server up so that i can perform the system update so that the corresponding you know table can also get created into the db that is why now i will bring my server up so you can see i am bringing my server up right so i will be firing the command hybrid server dot bat so you can see i have fired this command as soon as i fire this command my server will start coming up so let's wait for the server to come up and then we will perform the system update So guys now since server has come up now we will quickly perform the system update why we need to perform the system update so that the corresponding item type can also get created into the db so before starting the system update let's see whether this item type is there into the db already or not so i am firing this command select star from hybrid tube members only packages component and let's see whether this is there or not you can see it is not there that is why we need to perform the system update so i will be going into the platform then i will be going into the update and this is the hse cockpit 
so now guys to perform the system update i just have to you know select only the option update running system and i will click on the update button okay so you can see guys i am clicking on the update button and as soon as you know i have clicked on this update button the system update gets started in the backend this will take some time let's wait for the system update to get completed and once the system update is finished then we will see that the corresponding item type will get created into the db also why we need to create this item type into the db so that we can then insert the values into this item type using the impacts so let's wait for the system update to get completed So guys now you can see system update has been completed and let's see now the new item type has been created in the db or not so i'm going into the hsc and i'm trying to log in again and then i will go to the console and the flexible search and here i will again try to fire the query and if you see now guys you can see we are now able to you know find the corresponding item type i hope guys this is clear to you So guys, now the next step is we need to create the corresponding custom controller and the JSP for the custom component. So the first is we will create the custom controller. So where we will create the custom controller, we will create the custom controller in the training storefront extension. So in the training storefront extension, in the web folder, then in the SRC folder, here inside the controller and then inside the CMS folder we will create our custom controller let's see whether change is getting reflected or, or not so you can see now change is reflected as well as this change is reflected over here so this means we are using the same component at both the places i hope guys this is clear to you how you can basically create a custom page right and inside the custom page how you can you know create or you know map the out of box components like paragraph component or the banner component or how you can map a custom component both at the custom piece as well as at the home piece right i hope all the steps are crystal clear to you so guys this is all about the creation of the custom piece custom component and then how you can map the reusable custom component into the custom page as well as to the home page guys i hope you like this video if you like this video please share this channel with your friends thank you for watching bye